What's up guys, it's Paul from Not An Apple Fan here and I thought I would talk to you a little bit about today. Today. I think I would talk to you a little bit today about why I think <coughs> Crossfire is a superior technology than SLI. And those of you who know that I have been messing around with trying to get two SLI cards to work, I got another SLI bridge. Thank you, Stephen, one of my subscribers, Stephen Duff, I think his name is, I'm not sure. Uh, about his surname, but he gave me an SLI bridge, just gave it to me, nice, came to meet me, he's from Dublin as well, but came to meet me, and basically gave me an SLI bridge, which confirmed my honest opinion, which was that I wasn't going to get these to work, I don't, I, I had tried everything, literally everything, you can talk in the comments, you can send me as many suggestions, I did ask for some suggestions to see if anybody had any specific idea why I couldn't get it to work, I tried different SLI, I tried different shots, uh, slots, a different SLI, it works, it patches the driver, and then when it's supposed to copy it into my, my driver system folders, it just doesn't do it. I've tried going into safe mode, in administration mode, tried to copy it in manually, didn't work, could not get it to work, tried literally everything you can think of, try and get this to work. I think if I got different SLI to work, it would work. Maybe I have to wait for a new version of different SLI to come out, maybe that's the reason why. Um, I followed the instructions to a let to the T. I tried it in multiple different ways. Tried all the troubleshooting methods. Read, read, read almost 100 pages of the 110 pages that there are on the different SLI forms. I really think that's the key to getting it to work, is bypassing that step where it checks it. I think at this point I'm thinking one is a gigahertz edition card and one is a super clocked edition card. I think it just thinks that they're two separate cards and doesn't allow SLI. I really don't know. Um, I know that one has Hynix memory. One has samsung memory some people are saying that that causes a problem some people saying that doesn't i went as far as flashing the biases on the card so that they have the same bias still nothing happened they just don't sli i tried both cards individually benchmarked both cards clocked them at the exact same clock speed both cards worked really well that was my first ever experience of sli so when i went down that rabbit hole uh, and would also with, with having loads of previous experience with Crossfire, having actual cards that are crossfired on one board, having multiple cards in one system, uh, having all sorts of crossfire si situations, uh, having at some at one point in my life two two ninety Xs in Crossfire. I ended up it wasn't it was just that I had two at the same time, so I just crossfired them just to see what the performance was like. I actually didn't keep one. I put one in a build and sold it on, but I've had multiple different chances to try crossfire i've my only other uh time i tried sli was with a couple of other cards in the past and um, always had some sort of issue but ultimately worked and um, i had a gtx 295 which worked sometimes but didn't work all the time i, f I just find cross I, that's why i couldn't understand people giving out about sli because my experience with crossfire was the scaling was okay um, it worked in nearly every game and it, it just seemed to gi always give me some sort of performance boost and I never uh, experienced those frame rate drops or stutters even though st some of the reviewers out there say that they're worse on AMD cards I never experienced it maybe I'm not as sensitive so maybe I wouldn't have experienced it on this SLI system but I can't get it to work I just can't get it to work and through reading all of that stuff, I've come up with multiple different problems. The problem with SLI, I think, is not the, the technology. I think the technology might be fine. I think the issue with SLI is how locked down it is. How how much NVIDIA locked down SLI. And they do it by simply, they do it by simply not allowing cards from similar generations, even though they might have the same. I am okay with uh, 1060 not SLIing with a 1080. But what I'm not okay with is, let's say, a 1070, not SLI, not SLIing with a 1080, when they have the same GK, uh, uh, sorry, GP 104 die, or, you know, uh, a 1080 Ti not SLIing with a Titan, even though they have the same uh, G, GP 102. It's just, for me, those dies are from the same process, just let them SLI together. And I think that's what causes all of these problems the different memory uh with it you know if you, some people are saying that you can't sli cards now i don't know how, this, how true this is i i hope it's not true but different cards with different amounts of memory so for instance these these gtx 7 uh, 780s are both 
um, three gigabyte cards. However, if there was, I read on another form that somebody had a problem SLIing two uh, 780s in the past, and one was a six gig and one was a three gig. He got he got a three gig of the same model. It worked. Got six gig of the same model. Didn't work. So it it it, it they lock you into. They want to put things behind paywalls, which causes problems for for ultimately the consumer in the end, which is that. I cannot get. I I'm a, I'm a computer technician by trade. That's what I am. Okay, and I have done everything. There is nothing I have not tried. I've tried. I've read my man. Look, here's my manual on the desk. I've read my motherboard manual to make sure I hadn't done something stupid. Um, I've tried different combinations of cards. Tried different SLI bridges. Tried different power connectors. Tried a second power supply plugged into one card and a power supply plugged into the other one. I've tried everything you can imagine. Flashed biases, like a different SLI, as I said, which is a third-party program that you shouldn't even need to work to get SLI to work. And I read that a lot of people had to use them on their GTX 970s because that that was a problem. I don't think the fundamental problem with SLI or Crossfire is that it's bad scaling or you increase your power water for me as an enthusiast i've never carried ca cared about power bills really like a kilowatt is 12 cents in ireland and we have one of the most expensive electricities in europe 12 cents an hour to run and no system draws even close to a kilowatt no system if you you could have like an fx 8350 uh, overclocked to five gigahertz with a with a Ryzen uh, with a sorry with a Vega uh, sixty four in there and it might draw seven hundred watts. It won't draw a kilowatt. So when you think of it that way, and you think of the fact you might game for four hours a day, you know that's less than a dollar a day gaming. It's not a lot. It's thirty dollars at the end of the month. For me, if you're spending that much money on hardware, you have that money to pay on electricity. Um, this system would have topped out around, I'd say, five or six hundred watts. I'm running a nine hundred and fifty watt gold power supply from EVGA, or from Corsair. I can't remember. I think it's Corsair. So there's there's not an issue with the amount of power I have. This thing, this 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 uh, power supply I have, I have an issue. I have so many uh, A pin adapters on the motherboard. I was actually thinking of cutting some of them off and soldering the end of them so that I didn't have to have them because cable managing them is a nightmare. Regards Crossfire, this is an RX 480. This RX 480 will Crossfire with an RX 580, an RX 580 4 gigabyte, an RX 480 4 gigabyte, an RX 470, an RX 470 8 gigabyte, an RX 570, an RX 570 8 gigabyte. It will Crossfire with anything in the same kind of generation as it. That is why Crossfire to me is a greater. Uh, a greater technology but there's another one another fundamental reason the step of having an SLI bridge how come an AMD can do crossfire and actually get better scaling through the motherboard and in Nvidia can't do it I don't buy the need for an SLI bridge I especially with PCI Express 3.0 and the amount of bandwidth that's there I just don't buy it I don't think it's needed if an AMD can do it Nvidia can do it too I think it's a paywall thing I think it's a complicated step. I think that that's the reason why I'm having this issue because if you look at the issue here, it says to use maximum 3D for performance, connect the SLI ready graphics cards with an SLI connector. That's the problem. It's not detecting an SLI connector. And that's why different SLI would have helped me because you don't need an SLI connector. Even though apparently if you do that step, you get full SLI if you have a connector and you have the same generation. So that was my full experience with SLI. It was a pain in the hole. I can't get it to work. There's nothing I can do to make it work. I don't know what else to say. I only leave it there. Crossfire to me is a better technology. Yes, a Nvidia have the much more superior single cards. But when you talk about Crossfire, if you could get two of these, right? If you're talking about people on budget, if you could get two of these nowadays for 150, 200 quid, RX 480s, you're up around, you're sitting somewhere in most games, not all games, because some games just don't use Crossfire, but you're, you're sitting with a par card that's powerful enough to play every game out there at 1440p at reasonable settings. And when you put two of them together, because it's got 8 gigabytes of VRAM, uh, you're not running into that limitation of having you know two cards and one VRAM is not useless because it's in, in, in Crossfire. You've got a card with big enough uh, VRAM. Sorry about the dog barking. I have the door open because it's freezing because it's fucking roasting here. But uh, yeah, you have a, a situation where 
you've got to carry enough VRAM, enough enough power to run games if as if Crossfire doesn't work, and you're getting somewhere close to 1080 performance for a lot cheaper. And that was my whole idea with this. I thought two ten two seven eighties, you know, their performance is somewhere between this and maybe a, a four seventy. So I thought if I could get two of them SLI together and get up near 1070 performance, it would be a good budget option for people who are waiting, who want that level of performance but are waiting and then could sell on the cards later on and get the card that they wanted eventually. That was my whole thought process behind it. Ultimately, 1780 nowadays is a fantastic buy. I don't care what anybody says worrying about future support. This is a card that will get you through a hole until you can afford a graphics card. And whatever anybody says, graphics cards are still too expensive right now. You shouldn't be looking at cards in, with, with MSRPs and thinking, that's a good buy ever, two years after they've launched. You should be thinking, that's a bad buy because they because it's it, historically, graphics cards near the end of their life and they are near the end of the life no matter what anybody else says whether even a computer a card comes out in december they are near the end of their life you shouldn't be thinking that a card that is close to msrp is a good buy you just shouldn't so that's why i was trying to do this video that's why i was trying to bring you a video ultimately with loads of benchmarks unfortunately i didn't get that video done I spent hot this is the reason why if anybody's been looking for a video off me i've gotten a couple of comments where's the videos where's the videos and the reason why the videos haven't come is because i spent every waking minute of my day that i have that i'm not spending with my wife or in work trying to get these two cards to work that's how long i've spent on it i'd say i've spent maybe 24 hours in the last week trying to get these cards to work and i just can't get them to work if anybody else has any suggestions before i just flog one on uh let me know i'm gonna put the other one in a build i'd say and sell it on and i'm gonna go back to use my rx 480 um I've sold my GTX 1070 because I was going to use it for the comparison with these. It's no, there's there's no, no need for me to have it now. Uh, this card does everything I need it to do. It runs at 1300 megahertz. I haven't overclocked it yet, actually. I should do a video on this. If you're interested in that, actually, in the comments, uh, tell me if you want to see a video on this. Like it if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. And if you disliked it, tell me why you disliked it because I can't fix it if I don't know what I did wrong. And also, yeah, as I said, I'm open to suggestions, but please don't suggest stuff like try different boards, try different configurations. I have different boards here. I've tried different boards. I've tried different uh, configurations. The only thing, bar the only thing I haven't tried is getting another card. That's the only thing I haven't tried. I've tried different SLI bridges. I've tried different orientations of the SLI bridge. I've tried uh, high bandwidth bridges. I've tried standard bandwidth bridges. I've tried uh, different power supplies, different orientations of the motherboard. I've flashed the biases. I've um, I've tried to use this or different SLI. I just can't get it to work. If anybody's uh, very competent in this different SLI and wants to get in contact with me and help me uh, to try and get that to work, which I think will, would be the ultimate fix, um, please, please, please send me an email at... Uh, not an apple fanboy at gmail.com and yeah I'd, I'd love to help uh but as i said before i really th i really wanted to bring a video to you that would show you this performance and would be it would be a nice video that would have had this is how you fix this problem if you ever have this problem in the future so that didn't happen and i'm sorry it didn't happen uh yeah i said all i like the like it and all that stuff so yeah subscribe and all that jazz and i'll see you in the next one lads i'm gonna press this button stop recording